And we're back, Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck just for you. And come and join Robert Hood and his merry men and let's make some pies. All right, so I'd like to first say thank you so much for bearing with me as I've gotten so much technical issue out of the way and even I've had account issues tonight which I've sorted and I've got the video done. So thank you for bearing with me for the last few days and I have a lot of videos to get done and expect a lot to come out very soon. So thank you again. And now that's out of the way, let's get into what this deck is trying to do. So basically we have this robber of the rich, which is the Robin Hood theme um, and put me in this mindset of you know I would like to do a deck that was a little bit like Robin Hood's whole flavor so making it so we steal their creatures as well as the card that he exiles off the top of their deck so I feel like that you know idea just clicked and worked and I just love how it plays so I thought I'd run this one first to show you guys before I jump into some other other spicier decks and just a light mention I have brewed a deck around this guy with other colors which I feel is a much better brew for him but this one was so fun to play that I wanted to show you guys first and you know wait till I got four copies to show you the better edition so this is you know version one of the Robin Hood or Robin Hood and it is pretty spicy still it's very playful for you as a pilot as you go through all the lines and find it through the games but his ability is pretty crazy you know like he has haste and reach and his ability is when he attacks if the defending player has more cards in their hand than you exile the top card of their library and during your turn if you're attacked with a rogue you may cast that card and spend mana as if it's yours so basically when you attack with him the first time he's going to exile a card and then the next turn if he sticks around then you attack with another rogue any other rogue and you'll be able to cast that card for you know as if you've got the mana to cast it so that's just nabbing the card off their library and using it for you but it's also getting it off their library they can't access it anymore so that's just awesome in itself but the other way that we're going to sort of try and you know like steal things is with our claim the firstborn and act of treason so firstborn is going to grab anything with mana three or less so pretty much everything early game and then act of treason is from three forward you know so you know from four up and you've got Witch's Oven. So this is just a beautiful little thing where you snatch something of theirs and then just turn it into a pie. And then from there you can do it again and again and then they get pretty, you know, shitty and end up scooping because you're attacking them with their creatures and then just eating them afterwards and gaining life and they just watch it happen. So um, I included a Cauldron Familiar just because the flavour of you sacrificing a creature of theirs after attacking with it and then using that food to bring in a cauldron familiar is just amazing so if you can go turn one which is oven turn two you know cauldron familiar then you're already starting a bit of a loop and from there if you're stealing their creatures then it just continues that loop really solidly so from there um we go with the rob the rich trying to get a few rogues attacking so we have you know, Tin Street Dodger, this guy's going to have come down with haste and you can keep him around by paying one and making so he can't be blocked, you know. So he's pretty good, you know, for the idea of Robert the Rich. We have Orzov Enforcer because, you know, obviously he's going to leave behind something and Death Touch is a beautiful blocker. And then the Witch's Oven we can also use on any creature. But, you know, the 1-1 one, one Flyer, if it's about to die also, is just worthy to be able to have more food for the cat, you know. Um, Forever Young is really good because we can just nab any of the number of creatures from the graveyard, chuck it on top of the deck and then grab the one off the top. So that's pretty good. I've got one copy in there, but um, yeah, just a quick mention. The other rogue in here, and the last rogue, is the Burning Tree Vandal. This guy comes down and can have haste, so that's already amazing if you've got a robber of the rich sticking around. And, you know, you can also dig further into the deck. But the problem with him is that you don't want to have too many cards in your hand when he's sticking around, because you would not trigger if they've got 
you know, less cards than you. So we have a, the few little workarounds. We light up the stage, it's going to put them all in exile, so that's out of hand, and we can have him triggering more often. And same with Theory of Horrors. This is a beautiful little piece, little suitcase off the side, just tucking all the cards in there, and then you can just dig into it as soon as you need them. And it's just beautiful. You drop a cauldron, and then you can play anything from under there. You know, and getting a cauldron back from the graveyard isn't too hard with this deck. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole brew. This um, land is pretty ugly. I'm still investing in land. As you see, I'm pretty broke. Um, but, yeah, as it gets better, I'll have better decks and whatnot, better lands to show. But, yeah, you can do whatever lands you like. And, yeah, just check out what you think. And, you know, hit me up in the comments if there's anything that you suggest or see that I can't see. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow because it helps me out heaps as I'm trying to go full time with this as much as I can. So I'm um, back on the track and I'll see you after the matches. Perfect first hand. Okay, so we can take whatever creature this isn't a good color matchup already why didn't he flash that in that's weird okay so we'll get our black out and i think we take it and swing in and we'll sacrifice it straight away make a little pie Ghost Pie. I wish that there was different um, ovens, you know, like the Witch's Oven is the same one, but just different art, and then each different art produces a different thing. That's a nice little touch. So another guy he didn't flash in, so I'm going to have to punish him for that. Right, like I have to. And we'll make a pie. Fish pie this time. Nice. All right, this is off to a good, a good start. <laughs> There's his third land, so maybe that's... No, no flyers. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get the cat out. I'll let the cat out. And then we'll just pass turn. See if he can do anything with this. This is a loop. We've got a solid loop here. Sure. See if he targets a cat still. Okay, so this is our chance here. Sacrifice him. Bring him back. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. So he's inclined to block the flyer. No blocks. So we'll make a make another pie. Can you see it yet? <laughs> we have to get this out next turn. Start digging into the deck. Okay. Some draws, yeah, and then swing in. I just need a couple of ovens and we're good. So we get this down and start digging for some ovens. Oh, oh, maybe not. We still will, nice. Oh, 
We'll get rid of that. I'm gonna put this down. So we got a massive life total to gain here. So digging for some ovens here. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Take this guy. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Alright, we're keeping that. So this is looking pretty good. Obviously I've got crap land, it's pretty ugly, but in the process of buying more I'm pretty broke <laughs> when it comes to magic. If I could get some sort of uh boost I'd be right up there, I'd be building the building the decks. I think we need to go turn two out. Sure. Alright, so what's he got? Same colours. Probably knights though. Oh. No, it's not. No, it is not. Hmm. That's weird. I would have just taken the one damage. Okay, so what can we do here? Sweet. Sweet. We doesn't drop a creature. Okay, there he goes. Getting rid of the death touch, I guess. Does give me a blocker. Jeez. 
<laughs> yep. Well, it was a good game. Okay, we'll keep this. We got the oven. And if we get an untapped land or not. Hmm. I think it's probably worth us going in like this. Next turn we go in the oven, depending. Yeah. Okay, so we could have lots of counter spells here. It's not going to be fun for us. Or even bounce. I'll just go with this. See what he uh, see what he has. It's waiting for me to do something big, I'm sure. So you can encounter a creature. Alright, well he's choosing to. Okay. I'll just pass there. So we got one to stick. That's good. Yep. So he's probably got another counter spell now. I think I'm going to do this. No. No, not yet. Okay, so we'll go for this one and get that counter spell out of his hand. So then we can go Red Robin. Okay, yeah. And then we'll go in. Cool. And and turn. So he's got, okay, so that's uh, not the best, but that's not bad for now. Sure. A little life gain and block here. Okay, so I'm going to put this castle down and I'll we'll draw. Yeah, we'll get rid of this guy. Um, 
And then, yeah, we'll get food. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the pie. So, gotta get rid of that oven, really. So we have to... We're gonna loop it in and get access to these. I don't look under there. Okay, so we've got to act the trees under there, so that's pretty good. Depends what he does here. So it's going to be the um, rogue treachery, agent of treachery, which is a rogue, that's why he's been checking out the uh, robber of the rich. Oh, okay. Alright. I fully thought you were going to go for the rogue, but then it would have been a waste, wouldn't it? Getting the cat probably would have been better, but I guess I could kill that pretty easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that was good. Mulligan as well. This I feel a bit worse about. I think I'm going to put her back. No. Yeah. Okay. So... Tapped. No, that's not that. That's not good. We need oven and land and. We're in all sorts of trouble. Okay, there's a land. We go like this because it's been a pretty slow start. Now, if you put something down. Oh, nice. I haven't seen him before. There's the full effect of trees in far out. So let's get him over on our side. Make a token instead of attacking. Okay, he's got a full rat deck. This is cool. Like it. do don't want to waste any of these plus he could make us discard as well so I don't want to lose the only one okay Yes, that's good. Get it down an oven. OK, 
Okay, so next down we can light up the stage, hopefully. Okay, what's this guy? Sweet. Haste as well. Huh. Yeah, right. Weird noise is coming from that card. Very interesting. Land after land. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll get in with this. Um, yeah. And then I'll probably go act of treason again. And get rid of him. That was nice. It's a nice little clean up job. This little thing working wonders for us that's also very nice for us hmm Uh, so we get him down. Then we'll draw a card. And enter. So that was a bit of a slow move, but we needed to have a little bit of a recoup there. We emptied our hand fully. Doesn't help that we have to discard as well. It brings the rat dude back. Yeah, so a good blogger. Okay, so I think we just go like this. Not land. Hmm. Can okay, control this dude. Okay. Oh, nice. Double nice. Um. Well, we can go with his oven and light up the stage. Hmm. 
Oh, then we'll get this guy. Oh, attack. <laughs> it's just brutal, isn't it? Just keeps going, keeps going, and they scoop. I don't think I've actually won a game through actually beating them, it's just scoops so far.